Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is almost middle of August or October now, and the greenhouse is looking bright and sunny. Plumeria is still outside. Saracenias are starting to look a little bit weathered. Have stuff under cover now for when the rains come. The bog pots are starting to kind of wear down for the winter. Koi are looking hungry. And most stuff, most Saracenias now that are going to spend the winter outside unheated are in this um, cold frame that we built in the summertime. I didn't really have a purpose for it then, but I sure do now. It sits just in front of my greenhouse here. Get some sun. And this is the um, the awesome brand, awesome.ca, out sunny 71 inch cold frame. And we built this guy together. You, me, and my son. And it's pretty full right now. So this is where a lot of my Saracenias are going to spend their winter this year. They're fully cold hardy in my zone. But what happens in my zone is the awful torrential rains really can rot things and wreak havoc. So I have set this guy up and moved it here. And um, yeah, so we got some purpureas in there. Some grass in between. It's just sitting on the grass for now. The cobra lily is going to come out. More saracenias are going to go in there. And this is going to be, it's mainly for hybrids and flavas. Flavas can just, and oreophila, they can take a little bit colder. My leucophilas are going to be in the frost free greenhouse along with like stuff like minor and stuff like that. So this is going to be more for the cold growing or colder tolerating ones here. But um, yeah, so lots of purpureas in here. Let's see if we can focus. Oh yeah, easy focusing here. Some cool veinless ones. That's um, just a seed grow one. That's one year old from seed. And this one's one year old from seed. In fact, all of these are one year old from seed, but some just do better than others. Um, yeah. So one thing I noticed with this is um, it's 19 inches from front to back. The trays that I use, standard trays, are 20 inches long. Trays don't fit in this. So what I had to do was, and I might have to doctor this up a little bit, but the, the cold frame is sitting on the trays themselves. It was the only way to get them under. So I don't know if I have to run like some kind of board across the front and across the sides and stuff like that to, um, like I say, it's, it doesn't have to be airtight or anything like that. And it's just to take the, the rain off and a little bit of the really cold. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a silly design that way that is 19 inches. It needs to be 20 and a half inches and then these trays would fit in. Otherwise, instead of six trays long here, six 10 by 20 trays, I would get three. And this thing would be a complete waste of space because three trays in here is um, not that much. So that's the biggest bummer I can see about this. Otherwise, it's, it's um, a really nice cold frame. And yeah, it works really well. So I have to deal with that. And for now, it's a little bit loose. I could put stakes through the corners there to, to like stake it down on the outside of the the tray stuff like that but um so there's a perp my cobra lilies i repotted this year into like a white dishpan some hybrids and yeah a few more hybrids and some flavas getting ready so what i'm gonna let these guys die down a little bit more naturally and then i'm gonna come in here and as stuff gets really tattered like this i'll make two or three attempts and just like remove the the deadest stuff I don't like removing green pitchers, so they're, they're definitely not ready to go yet. Especially some of these are still looking actually pretty mint, but they're just all kind of tucked away for the winter time in there. But yeah, I just wanted to do an update as I was heading out to the greenhouse. This is like a bonus video, so this is, this is just an update on that awesome out sunny 71 inch cold frame. Um, and so yeah, it was a really awesome little gift here. And yeah, I'm putting it to good use. It is full. And then basically I just leave these guys just cracked open. Even if it's just one or so cracked open for now. They lock like you can lock them up tight. Or I leave them right there. Or you can even put them up one more like so. But either way, it keeps all the rain off these guys. Oops. For being outside. And it definitely does keep them a little bit warmer anyways in this cold frame. When there's frost and snow out here, these guys 
in cold winds, these guys aren't going to be in those cold winds. So that's that was the whole point of this thing. And it is full to the brim. So I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And now we are going into the greenhouse. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.